Welcome to this tutorial. I'm Nicole, and today I will be showing you how to create a poster using PowerPoint. To begin with, you'll want to resize the image background so that it's whatever size poster you want to create. Generally, I suggest that you do that to a 36 by 36 inch poster. And to do that, go into your design tab here at the top, click page setup, and then select your width and height and just enter 36 inches for both of those. And the reason I use 36 inch square is because it tends to be really easy for you to transport as well as it's big enough for you to include good images and text and it's not so small that you can't read it from a distance. So we have our page size 36 inches and then you'll need to select what background. You can either Im insert a picture if you want or just choose one of the standard templates that are provided by PowerPoint. And I'm just gonna choose a template here and go with, I kinda like this bubble, but I don't like the color, so you can change the color if you didn't know that. And let's just do this, this one here. Okay, so I'm going to move this up to the top of the page since this is the title of my poster. And generally I use a, t a font size that's somewhere between 180 and 200. So I'm going to put this up to 180 here and enter that. And then of course you can resize your text boxes. I'm not going to go into too much on how you um, how you actually design it too too much, but just to give you an idea, get into your title, and then of course by and resize that. And generally, I like to have my author or the author name somewhere between 60 and 80, so I'll put this one as 72. And then, of course, you can include any text boxes that you want or images. So usually, I have kind of a split between images and text boxes. It's nice to have images either all along the bottom of the slide or at three locations within the slide. So a lot of times, I'll do an image here on the bottom left, one at the top, center and then the one again at the bottom right and that that creates a, a visual image that's easy to follow when you do it that way so to you know insert a picture you would just click on the insert tab and then picture I don't really have any pictures in here that are more than just a sample but to just give you an idea This is how I would place images if I had them, and then text boxes around those images. So when you do the text font size for the main body of your poster, you will want to keep that also within 60 or 80 font size, and that allows you to read it from at least three to five feet away. So whatever font size you decide on or image size you decide on, just kind of picture how if you can read that from a three to five foot distance um, because generally when you're presenting a poster, people are either close enough to you that way or if you're presenting to a class then you may need it to be even bigger. Um, but generally poster presentations for research uh, it's someone can walk around a room and look at the different posters so it's it's easy to keep it at this font size and readability whenever you're trying to gauge what size text you have and whether it's sufficient one thing that I would suggest is go ahead and type whatever you're going to type here in all of your different places let's see I wanted to format that between 60 and 80, so I'm going to put that at 72. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply this a few times. 
to get an idea. But then if you want to try and figure out if that's large enough, what you can do is go to your view screen and zoom to 100% and click OK. And then stand away from your screen and see if that's large enough for you to read it. it I think this is plenty big and actually I could probably do a little bit smaller even. Um, but that's one way to check to make sure that the font size is, is correct. So then I just want to fit back to screen so I just click the fit to window button at the top. And then one final piece that I suggest you include, especially for a research poster, is a list of references. So be sure that whenever you set up your poster, you leave enough space for you to include a text box that has your references listed. And generally that goes at the end. And this font size can be smaller than the rest. Uh, typically I do it somewhere between 40 and 60. So it can be a lot smaller, but it does need to be included on a research poster. So be sure you do that. So if you have any questions, ask your instructor. And good luck with building your poster.